means I want to go... I need to get up first. Up here. And that's not where I want to go. I need to go back through this. Apparently I went backwards through the thing I wanted to go through. I'm supposed to go this way. Why does this not surprise me? And then go down here. Now I'm pretty sure there's more basilisks, basilisks rather, down here. And this makes it exceedingly more difficult to, to see where the curse cloud is because of all this mist. So if you see a little bar filling up, get the hell out of any kind of mist you're in. Lest you be cursed and want to throw your controller at the TV for having to go through all that crap again. Did I see a statue? Oh crap, there's a statue, so that means there's a basilisk somewhere around here. Oh, the diabo! No. That's a bad, bad, bad rat. Bad, bad. I feel really squishy. I, as a uh, as a uh, sorcerer, I really do. I do not like fighting things in a straight-on environment. For God's sake, give up! Oh, uh, uh, thank goodness for rats being fat now. I just, this wasn't my intention, but I mean, I'll take advantage of it. I was just trying to honestly get away. I wasn't trying to exploit there. I'll take it though, don't get me wrong. Okay, I believe we're almost to the boss actually. You begin. Oh, this is gonna take a while to kill. At least it's safe though with a rapier. Doesn't do crap for damage, but it, it's safe. Then again, I am a mage. I should not be doing a lot of damage in melee, so that's just fine by me. I'm role playing a mage. That's cool, right? I mean, mages aren't mages are supposed to do that little pokey thing and not actually being able to actually hurt something. I think it's more scared of me than I am of it. That's uh, that's always nice. Okay, yeah, I know where we're at now. We are near where I want to be. I need to unlock the shortcut before I do a darn thing else. Shortcut is up here. I remember because last my last uh, Dark Souls LP, I could not find the shortcut for the longest time, and I wandered around. Okay, so if I die to the boss, I can get back to the boss in less than... Uh, probably. Actually, you know what? Before I do this, I'm going to go do that now while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to level up first. And then... Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then, uh... Yeah. We'll think about it then. But I'm going to level up first. It'll refill my, uh... My spells, anyway. Okay, that's three in intelligence. I would put another in dexterity, but I'm kind of really wanting some more endurance. So I'm going to put some in endurance. It doesn't help much now, but every little bit of endurance helps. Helps me sprint longer, helps me, you know... Oh, he has a... I was going to say, you know, I'll just do that, but he has a, a torch. I don't like fighting ones with torches. Okay. I really need to kill that thing, though. Okay, I'm... Uh, I'll do that later. And by later, I mean probably horrendously much later. I mean way later. When no one will even remember what the hell I'm talking about. Okay. I know where we're going now. Oh, dude, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, 
Boy, that was fun. <laughs> no, you can't break out of that. I was pushing every button I could think of. You cannot break out of that. Normally, that doesn't kill me. Normally, it just hurts like hell. But since I have 8 Vitality, that instantly kills me. It's a good thing I did that. I leveled up before that. Otherwise, I would have been slightly annoyed having to go back down there to get all my souls back. Go horribly off balance just to swing. Hot climb. There we go. So, apparently, yeah, you gotta look up. I forgot there are slimes on the ceiling here. Forgot all about that, actually. Normally, I just run past them and never have to worry about them, but. Did that camera angles from hell? No, you know what? No, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill this so I don't have to worry about it. And that's the only real reason I'm killing this thing, just so I don't have to worry about it later. You have a lot of freaking resistance to this, don't you? Okay, I forgot. Rapiers can't actually hit anything lower than them, so I'm gonna... Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? You can't just miss. It's, it's, it's a snail. How do you miss that? Oh, what in the... Look, I just want to get through this hallway. I've never died in this hallway ever before. I should not be having this much trouble in this damned hallway. I seem to be having a lot more trouble with a lot, with a lot different things in this playthrough than I normally do. Screw that, that was only 600 souls. I don't care about 600 souls. Now, there is a vendor here. Do not just randomly hit the badly dressed man. Hi, Shalai, and good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Yeah, that's great. I have a. Well, that is a shame. But no, come back again. Not every trip. There'll be more. Yeah, I really don't give a damn, sir. This thing's about ready to waddle over here, and uh, I've been killed by its uh, kin way too damn much to really care at this point about wasting these things. I shall. I... Yeah. Okay. What he has. You don't really want to buy any of the crystal stuff. I mean, they have a lot of damage, but, um... They break. You can't repair them. The things you'd want to buy are... If you like the way his stuff looks, you can buy that. And gold pine resin. Well, that is a shame. Come back if not every trip. They'll be... This is the gate to hell. We will probably be going there next time. And what I get, what I mean by that, of course, is that is the gate to Blight Town. Blight Town is hell if you do not have any uh, royal moss or whatever the hell that stuff's called. Toxic uh, curatives. I do not have any toxic curatives, so it's going to be hell. Because it, I don't. It takes a long time for your toxic to. Oh wait a minute, that had humanity and it didn't. Oh damn it! I gotta go pick up the blood stain now. I gotta figure out a way to get that thing off the ceiling. Boy, I wish I could target that. You asshole. You won't just fall down when I run close to it. You want me to go right on top of it. Oh, no. Juked you, didn't I? Ha uh ha. -huh. No, I don't care that I'm wasting heavy solar arrows when there's a boss right down there. I don't care. He deserves it. I'm getting my humanity back. I'll teach you. I still feel bad about that one slime that killed me in the beginning of the dungeon, but oh well. What can what can I do? Couldn't get that thing to fall off. 
now, excuse me. Now, before we go down these stairways, the stairway, rather, and go fight the boss, there's something over here. I don't remember what it is, but... Oh, wait a minute. This is, this is Knight Latrek's uh, summon sign area, isn't it? At the, uh... If you, uh... If you saved him, and I don't know if you have to summon him for the gargoyles or not. You can summon him for the gargoyles, I forgot to mention. The item is over here. Maybe his summon sign's over here. I remember it was near something. It might be over here. I don't, I'm not sure. I never actually summoned him. I've saw it before, but I never actually used it. Now this boss... Again... Never casted, so I have no idea if it's resistances to magic. I'm gonna guess he has resistances, but I don't know. If you have heavy armor, take it off for right now. You do not want to tank this boss. This is one boss you do not want to try to tank with heavy armor and a shield. Trust you me on that one. I did it the first time I fought this thing. It wasn't pretty. And you'll see why when we see it. Why you don't want to try and tank this thing. Face to face. And it's a big face. Yeah, that is why you don't want to be face to face with that thing. Because if that thing slams down on top of you, well, let's just say I can't imagine that it feels good. I've always died on my, even on my melee characters, whenever that happened. So I'm uh, gonna guess that that would probably kill me right now. Oh, what the hell is that? What do you mean it missed? Well, at least I can hit him while he's. Oof, God, I forgot I had a tail swipe. Okay, now I'm going to have to modify my usual strategy a little bit here. I usually wait for him to bash his head against the wall. Or whatever the hell he's going to do over there near, there near that abyss. I'll just stop, apparently. Veronica, honey, I would appreciate it if you'd actually, you know, not break lock on it the worst freaking time. That'd be great. And time to run. Now he also has an attack that last time he did not do. I'm surprised, but last time he also has a vomit maneuver. No, I'm not joking. That's pretty much exactly what it does. He vomits all over the floor. I wish I was joking. I'm not. And the, the way you avoid that is you um, you run away, <laughs> basically. Now, if you want the tail, which I think if you cut the tail off, you get, uh, is it a great axe? It's some kind of strength weapon. It's not really that great of a strength weapon, but it's a strength weapon nonetheless. Um, the time to do that is when he's recovering after bashing his head into the wall, if you couldn't guess that already. Not a good time to pick that up, probably. But after you swing once or twice, get out of there. I'm not getting that because I have no use for a strength weapon on a mage, so... I'm just telling you, that's why I'm not going for the tail right now. And as a mage, I'm trying to stay as far away from that tail as humanly possible. I don't want to get hit by that tail swipe, which will probably, again, one-shot me. That thing hurts like hell. Now some people say, go ahead and hit the head. You know, that, that's his weak point. I call BS. I've hit that head. It does no more damage than the other parts of the body. At least whenever I did it. Now you can, if you're feeling lucky, go ahead and take their advice, but I'm just telling you, it's really not worth the reward, even if it's true. Because this fight is pretty darn easy anyway. You don't need to do any more damage, even if you're melee. Because you don't really do any more damage if you hit him in the face, if you hit him in the back leg, if you hit him in the tail, if you... I think you can shoot him in the wings if you have, use a, uh, a bow, if you're so inclined to. It doesn't matter where you hit him. Just stay far, far away from that that face if you value your life at all. For Veronica, honey. Shit. Oh boy. 
least the last thing you want to do is do not take your eyes off this wasp. He can also jump up, and that is not good when that happens. He can land on you. He, that's usually how I die in this fight. I take my eyes off him, he lands on me and just kills me. That, and you don't really want to take your eyes off a giant 50 or however big, 30 foot tall dragon, do you? Well, it's trying to kill you. It's, it's really not wise of you to take your eyes off your opponent when it's that big and nasty. But there I go being all logical again. Yeah, don't listen to me. Take your eyes off the boss if you want. <laughs> Boy, this is turning out into a longer fight. This, I would have thought this fight would have went shorter than when I did it on a melee, but with all this damage I'm throwing out, but... Oh, God. But, I... I forgot how much health this thing has. Maybe my spells are just not up to snuff yet because I only have like 24 intelligence. I don't know. Whatever the case, this is taking a while, ain't it? Again, this is just a big game of keep away. This thing is uh, very slow, very lumbering. It's really not difficult even for me. If I can kite this thing, you can kite this thing. Trust you me on that one. This is basically way out of my comfort zone, so anybody that's even the slightest bit confident in keeping things away from you, this fight is easy peasy if you're a mage. And it's easy even if you're melee. Again, the only. You, it's slightly more difficult as melee because you can get hit by that tail if you're trying to cut the tail off. If you're not even trying for the tail and you're doing this melee, then you can just hit it in its front legs and just get the hell away from it when it rears back up. Now we have the Blight Town Key. Sweet. How much? How many souls did I get out of that? Okay, I know what I'm doing. This is a perfect excuse to get out of here. I'm going to go back to Firelink uh, Shrine and get the uh, Bellowing Dragon Cast Ring. That's not the door back. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> you need to find the door doorway out of here. Uh, oh, here it is. Uh, I think it's this way. Yep. There is one negative, as uh, as you see here. If you do, t oops, wrong way again. If you uh, do rest at the bonfire there, it if you want to go back up to uh, Fire Lake Shrine, it it takes a while. Whereas if you don't do that, well, you don't got to go all the way back to Fire Lake, but. Uh, you got to hope you don't die, otherwise you're in the middle of a... You gotta run all the way back, all the way through the dungeon. So it's really a risk free reward thing. If I hadn't, then I could've just used a homework bone and been done with the whole thing, but I figured there's no real reason to use a homework bone here. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Well, while I'm here, I might as well restock my soul arrows so I can get rid of all this crap. At this point, I think I'm just going to cut here to when I go back to Firelink so you guys don't watch it all backwards. And, yeah, I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> 